Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's uh, Heart to Home devotional. Before we get started, let's go ahead and go into prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, we just come before you, and Lord, uh, we just lift up this time that we have, uh, not only with one another, Father, but with you. Lord, we thank you for uh, giving us another day, Lord, and um, I just pray that you open our ears, our minds, our hearts, Lord, to what you've given me to share, Father. I pray that we um, walk away, Lord, this morning just... Um, knowing more about you and and growing closer to you father so we just lift up this time to you we love you and it's in jesus name we pray amen okay so um today i want to talk about perspective um have you ever thought about why you're here what you're supposed to be doing and why um now as christians of course we're to grow in our walk uh, with the lord we're supposed to become more christ-like but have you ever asked yourself why? Now, of course, we're called to be witnesses for him um, and share the good news with those around us, with the world. But I feel like there's more to it. Um, I was recently at a memorial service and the pastor that was officiating gave a really neat analogy that I kind of want to share with you guys. And um, he was talking about this teeny tiny little fish who was watching like a Discovery Channel show or something about the ocean. And he was talking about this little fish that um, was in part of the deepest part of the ocean to where we as humans can't go because of the pressure is so high, our bodies just can't take it. So they build, you know, these little um, camera things that can go down there and get pictures of stuff and videotape. Um, but he was talking about how even though we ourselves can't go down that deep, God created that little teeny tiny fish to be able to withstand that pressure. I thought that was really neat. Um, but in the same way, we, the condition that we are here on earth um, is not built for the environment in heaven. And so um, in John chapter 14, Verses 1 through 4, I'm going to read um, the NLT version. It says, Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my Father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. And you know the way to where I am going. And so God is shaping and molding us and preparing us uh, to go home with him, just like he's preparing that place for us. And I think that uh, that's what we need to be focused on. Matthew 6.33 tells us, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. And that's kind of the perspective that I think we should be focusing on um, is our our focus should be on the future with the Lord. Uh, what can we do now? Like that verse said, to store our treasures in heaven. I'm not saying that we don't need to take care of things here, but I don't think that should be our sole focus. Um, Pastor Danny taught a few weeks ago, and when he ended, he ended with, um, a saying that Pastor Chuck had said, and it's actually written by um, a missionary pioneer by the name of C.T. Studd. And it says, only one life will soon be passed, only what's done for Christ will last. So I just want us to remind ourselves of that each day. Um, is our perspective on how we can get ahead here in this life, or is it how can I serve Christ today? So that's just something I want us to all keep in mind um, and just take with us today. Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, um, we just thank you again, Lord, for this time that you've given us, Father. I pray that we do just focus on you, Lord, what we can do for you, and that we realize that um, the things we do, the things we acquire while we're here, Lord, before you take us home, aren't 
what matters the most, but it's what we do for you in your kingdom, Father. So I pray you help us to just see those things, Lord, and guide us um, on how to do that for you, Father. I pray that that's our desire, Lord, is to seek you in your kingdom first, Father. So I just thank you. I praise you, Lord, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.